All right, welcome back. Well, you just saw spring, now we're gonna hit summer, and then after that is autumn, and then finally winter. And in this video, I'll definitely at least play through summer, maybe autumn as well, depending on how long things go. So, like I said, we've just set up. I am still the first player. We've each got our own little villages now with a bunch of places to put workers. We've got a bunch of new tiles out to bid on. And I should say, Right now, I am playing with what's called the Farmer Variant, the rules for the Farmer Expansion. The base way you're supposed to play is you are just supposed to include all these new Farmer tiles with all the tons of existing tiles that came with the original game. So, in a given game, maybe two or three or four Farm tiles might appear over the entire game. And so it may, and that's actually one of the big, big elements that makes Keyflower so interesting. Every time you play, different tiles come out, so you always have very different strategies to pursue. But right now, I'm playing with what's called the Farmer Variant, where every Farmer tile is in the game. So in spring, we saw all four Farmer tiles. In summer, we're seeing all four f Farmer tiles, although actually there's six, because this boat could have come out as Boat 5A, or boat 5B, it came out randomly 5A. So we're seeing all of them, and then we're just seeing a few additional tiles on top of that. So that means this game is being very, very farm animal centric in a way that the game normally would not be. Normally, you'd be maybe focusing a little bit on livestock, but also on lots of other things, because there'd be a lot of different tiles in the game. But I just wanted to remind you, um, because we're playing heavy farmer, you're gonna see more focus on pigs and cows, sheep and hay than you would normally. Okay, anyway, so I am the first player. I've got all these workers, and I've got to either start bidding on the new tiles or using the existing tiles. And I think actually I want to get my farm to work, as I want some more sheep. Remember, if I put a worker here, I'll get another sheep. And if I have more sheep, they could start breeding, which means I get even more sheep, because remember, at the end of the game, I've got the weaver, and I'm hoping to score bonus points on my sheep. So, you think, well, why don't I just take a worker and put it here and get another sheep? I don't want to do that. I want to upgrade so that when I put a worker here, I get two sheep. How do you upgrade? That's where this symbol comes in. Whenever you use th this thing, uh, the horse and cart, what that means is if I put a worker here, I'll get one movement point to spend, and then I can do one upgrade. So let's do that. Let's go on ahead and put a yellow here, a, one, of my, one of my three yellow workers. So I am activating this space. And so, now this is for if I'd upgrade. If I upgrade this space, which means I have to give up an ore and a stone, I would flip this over, it'd be worth five points, and in the future, I would get double movement and an upgrade and all that. Actually, that's pretty nice. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, what the heck, let's do that, because I got these resources. Um, oh. Oh, see, here's the interesting thing. Remember, I wanted to be able to build this monument. I wanted to get a lot of points off this monument, but then Jen went and grabbed the mine, so it's gonna be more expensive for me because I'd have to send my workers to her village to get more ore. But the carpenter came out, which is another way to get resources. Over here, I can get wood. So I could, if I get this tile, I could use gold plus wood to build my monument. It wouldn't be quite as nice, but it'll still get the job done. So, do I want to use these you know, like this ore and this one of these golds, because golds are wild cards. You can use gold as a replacement for anything. So I could use these two to upgrade this tile, which will score me five points, and it'll make it a more powerful tile. Or do I want to assume, hopefully I'll get this carpenter, and I'll instead start saving up so I can get lots of points off of this monument. I, don't, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna upgrade my home tile. Instead, I, I put this guy here, and now I can move goods around. First of all, and uh, you can move goods on the roads. And livestock, from meadow to meadow. I've got one movement point to spend. That means I could either move this sheep to you know, a different meadow, or I could move one of these. I'm gonna move one of these. I'm gonna take one of these golds. No, I'm gonna take this, yeah, I'm gonna take this ore, and I'm gonna move it one space over to my wheat field. So you can see, this wheat field, normally if you put a worker here, it generates two hay, but now it could generate three if I upgrade it. And this white means I could upgrade it with anything, so I'd be able to upgrade it with this ore. And when I upgrade it, I'll also score three points for the end of the game. So, first of all, I've done my movement, now I can do an upgrade. And so I can either upgrade this wheat field, I could still upgrade this because i got two gold, or I could upgrade my sheep fold. I'm going to upgrade my sheep fold. Because remember, I really want sheep. I, these are all good upgrades. I'm gonna upgrade sheep. Not only will it score me five points, but it means I'll be able to generate more sheep. So, the upgrade cost is one skill tile. Remember, at the end of the first round, I picked up a blacksmith skill tile. So I picked it up, I'll put it back over there. And that means I've spent the skill tile to upgrade to a sheepfold. 
Now the sheep stays in the same pasture, but now whenever I put a work here, I get two sheep instead of one, and I've scored five points. So that was my first turn. I put a worker here, moved some stuff around, and then upgraded a zone. Jen's turn. Okay. Now the interesting thing is, because I've, I've now made this a much cooler place to put workers, because whenever you put a worker here, you get two sheep. So Jen is tempted to send one of her workers over here to my village to grab my sheep. My sheep! But, I don't think she's going to do that, because right now she doesn't care so much about sheep. Remember, she's got the pig and the cow and hay and workers. She cares a little bit more about that stuff. So she's going to use her workers not to get resources out of my village, but instead she's going to start trying to grab because now the pigs are out. And if she wants sheep, she could get this shepherd's hut. And this shepherd's hut, by the way, allows her to get hay. Because remember, she needs hay. She's got this bonus thing for hay. And I ended up getting the main wheat field. So she wants to collect hay. This boat, by the way, is a special power. If Jen gets this boat, at the end of the season, whenever you're doing um, you know, all the normal stuff you get to do, you also get two bonus hay at the end of the season, uh, in the, at the end of summer, autumn, and winter. So if she gets that, that's six hay for her to pick up over the course of the game, which, if she gets this out, will, sc will score her three, you know, six points. So this right now is looking like six points for her if she could pick this up. Um, but the pig, she wants pigs too. So she needs to put an opening bid. Let's see, and she's strongest in red, so she doesn't want to mess around. She's going to bid one on these pigs and hopefully get herself a pig sty. That was her opening. My turn again. Now, I am going to get me some sheep. Uh, I think I will come in here with, with a blue worker. And so that means I've generated two sheep because I upgraded. Now, I can put these sheep in any of the pastures that are connected to this tile. One, two, three, or four. I'll put one of my two sheep here. And now that these two sheep are in this field, they will breed and give me baby sheep. But I'll put this other one, I'll put it in another field. Let's put it over here, let's say. Right, so now I've got three sheep. And remember, at the end of the game, I can get bonus points for sheep. All right, so that was my second action. I put a worker on my own field. So, you know, rather than going out and getting new fields, I'm just using the fields I got from last turn. Jen's turn. All righty. Now, she wants a lot of stuff. She wants those pigs. She also wants this boat, so she's going to put in a bid on that boat. And so far, I'm not contesting her. She's very happy. She's just hoping she'll get those for a song. Now, back to me. <clears throat> Let's see here. I, well, now there are, remember, I want this carpenter. I want him pretty bad. So I think, and I see, the pig style would be great. Pigs are worth a lot of points at the end of the game. Maybe I should, yeah. I'm going to raise Jen on the pigs. She's not going to be able to just get those easy peasy. And she's like, oh, all right. So I've raised her too. She doesn't want to let that go. She, I don't know, I, unbeknownst to me. Well, I should know, because remember, I kind of have a rough idea what she got. I saw what she took last turn, but still, she is going to raise up to three. And now here's the thing. I did that not because I really want, I do want the pigs. If I could get them, that'd be great. But I also did it more than anything else so that Jen wouldn't be able to get the pigs for only one. I raised her, and so, all right, anyway. So she's raised me, she's had to pay a lot for that pigsty. Back to my turn. Now I could pick these guys up and send them elsewhere. Or I could just leave them there and worry about them later. Remember, I really want this carpenter. That's what I really want. And also, I'd like to get first player again because I'd like to pick up more gold. Right now, that's the only way. Oh, no, but remember, I want this carpenter. The carpenter, too, he generates wood, but if I upgrade him, he could generate gold also. Let's see. Now, I've got my yellows. I could raise Jen on this boat over here, but, um, you know, wheat is great. Hay is great, but I'm not that worried about it. This boat gives you the ability, normally you can't, you can't mix and match animals. I couldn't put pigs in this pasture with my sheep. If you have this, you, you know, the animals can intermingle and be happy. So that's what that boat does, if I get that boat. I could get this. This is a nice thing to get both sheep and hay. And I haven't actually talked about much what hay is. Jen cares about hay because she's got bonus points for it. But hay, can all, hay is part of the expansion. It's not the base game. Hay can be used to get additional movement. If you've got a good that you need to move really far, normally you'd, you'd put a worker here, you'd only get one movement. But for every hay you spend, you can get additional movement. So hay is very, very powerful for moving stuff around on your board. Although I've got a, really, I've got a great way to generate sheep and hay right now. I don't think I need that shepherd's hut. But I know I do want that carpenter. I don't think I want to... Yeah, I don't think I want to mess around with it. These two reds, uh, since they can't get the pigs anymore and I can't raise anymore, I'm going to move these over here. 
And now I'm bidding, I'm bidding fairly high on the carpenter, but the thing is, I don't know how many reds Jen still has. And if I put one down, she might raise me with two reds, and then suddenly I wouldn't be able to get that carpenter because she'd price me up because I'd be out of reds. Now I could go here with blues instead, and then chances are if Jen raised me, I'd still be able to get them. But I want to save my blues if I can so that I can generate more sheep because now only blues can go into this field. So I'm just going to move these guys over here and make an opening bid on the carpenter. All right. Now, and Jen's like, yeah, that's fine. She didn't really care that much about the carpenter. She can already generate goods if she needs it. Let's see. Now, she also, so, so far, she's gone. She's got that. She's got that. She want anything else. She wants this. This is awesome. This is a way to convert her blue workers into green workers. Green workers are a precious resource. Jen really wants that. So what is she going to do? She's running out of things to bid with, though. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Uh, she's going to take a bit of a gamble. Now that she knows, she, you know, she put a lot of red here, I put a lot of red there. She's going to put a single bid over here and hope that I have no more reds and that I can't raise her because obviously I used two reds over there. And so chances, you know, and she probably assumes I did because I don't have any more red. Otherwise, I would have started because I could have raised. So she, it's a safe bet for her that I have no more reds. So if she puts a red over here, she's pretty much, and she guessed right because I have no red. So that means she's going to get that store. I can't raise her at all, which means she's going to get the ability to do green workers. So that's nice for her. Uh, or I'm sorry, you know, to get green workers, but that'll come up later. Back to me, back to my turn. All right. Let's see. I am going to take a yellow worker. Now, if I wanted, I could activate here again, and I could, you know, I could do another upgrade. Because remember, I could still upgrade my wheat field or my um, hometown, and that would score me three points or five points. It would give me more powers and whatnot. But I think instead, I'm going to send a yellow over here, and I'm going to do an opening bid on getting the first player. And now that's dangerous. Putting one yellow there means Jen might outbid me and I really want that first player. But anyway, I'll just go with that and now it's Jen's turn. Hopefully she won't outbid me. And unbeknownst to me, Jen has two yellows. And that's interesting for her. She could outbid me. She could grab first player. That would be a big move. She'd get the gold. Um, oh, that's, that's a, uh, that is a tempting choice for her now. But alternatively, she could just get to work. She could put her workers out here. Mm. Actually, she's gonna let that go instead She's going to finally use her own village. She's going to put a worker here on the storyteller space. And what that means is she's put a yellow down. And that means she can either get another worker or a skill. She is going to randomly. And so she's just given herself a worker. Very nice. And she got herself, ah, a blue worker. She's very happy about that. Okay. And so that so Jen used her own space. So back to my turn. Okay, she didn't kick me out of there. I've still got these. I am going to use my sheep field again now. Now, whenever you... Um, you know, in the, in the same way that when you raise a bid, you have to put more guys down. When you try to use the same tile a second time, you have to raise the bid as well. So, or it's not really a bid, but it, it basically, since there's one here, neither Jen nor I can put a single blue. We'd have to put two blues down. So for instance, I want to use this sheep field again, so I'll put two blues down. And that means I've generated two more sheep. So I'll put a sheep over here in this field. So now this field will have some breeding sheep. And with that, I'll put a, a sheep over here in this field. All right, so that's my turn again. Now, if Jen wanted to use this space now, she would have to put three blue workers down. Or if I wanted to use it again, I'd have to put three blue workers down. Now, neither of us have that, so this field is pretty much done. It's a very important consideration. Sometimes a player will even put two down in the first place just so that somebody else doesn't have enough because once you put two down, um, you know, the next player would have to put three down. So anyway, because you, know, you always have to go higher and higher. So, anyway, so I've got some more sheep. There's going to be some sheep breeding. Jen's turn. Now, she cannot put another yellow here because, remember, she would need two yellows to put it down. She's got yellows as blues. She wants to save these blues because in next, once she gets this tile, she's going to con next year she's going to convert her blues into greens because that's what the store does, convert a blue into a green. So I think she will... So that means if she used these blues to bid on anything up here, that blue would leave. She would lose it. And she'd lose her chance to use her store. So she doesn't want to put her blues on a bid. So I think she will use her blues to do a, um, one, of, one of her own home tiles. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's have her do that. She is going to use a blue to use her own home tile to transport stuff around 
and do an upgrade. Now, she has no good. She, uh, she doesn't have any sheep, she doesn't have any, so she'll skip the transporting, but she'll go straight to the upgrade. And what she'll do is she will take this, remember she, has, she had a saw blade and it, she could use this anvil to upgrade her mine, or she could use the saw blade to upgrade her farm. She's gonna use the saw blade to upgrade this farm. Whoop. And now she earned three points for herself. Whenever she puts a worker, she gets a sheep, a, a, she might get a saw blade back, you never know. And a hay, so this is a very nice potpourri of stuff in her upgraded farmyard. So that was Jen's move. Back to me, back to my, I've only got two workers left. What am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? Oh my goodness. Um, let's see, I can't. Now the interesting thing is, Jen has made this a very attractive place for me to put a worker. Because I give her a worker, I, I permanently lose this worker, but then I would get a sheep, I, I would get these three items, and that sheep, ah, oh, see I wanna put that, ooh. Ah, mm. No, that's unfortunate. See, if I, if I send my worker over here, I get, these, I get a wheat, I get a sheep, and I get a tool, right? The sheep, since it wasn't generated in my own field, like when I generate these sheep, they generate it in this field. But if it's generated somewhere else, it has to come into my home. So that means I can put it here, 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 or here. Where I want it to be is over here, so it would breed with the sheep. I didn't really think this out. I've, if I had put like two sheep over here, then there'd be this sheep by himself. Then if I grabbed a sheep from Jen's farmyard, I could put it and then I'd have three breedings. But I was dumb, I didn't think of that. So I think I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jump into Jen's farmyard. Let's see. I could activate my own wheat field and get some hay. Or, I mean, I, I think I'm gonna try and get another, see, I'm already getting the carpenter. I can't get the store because I can't bid red. I've already got that. Do I want this boat? Do I want this shepherd's hut? This would be a nice way to get some more stuff. And plus, if I ever upgrade it, it'll be three points. Or do I just want to upgrade? You know, I can activate mine and just start getting some stuff. I do want more sheep though. Any way I can get more sheep is gonna be good. So what the heck, I'm gonna put a bit of blue on this shepherd's hut and see if I get it. All right, Jen's turn. She's in the same situation as me. She's only got two left. I think now that she has upgraded her farmyard, she's gonna use it. She's gonna put a blue here and that means she gets one sheep, one tool and one hay. So we grab the hay and the sheep and we get a random tool and it is a saw blade. And so the sheep can go here, 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 or here. She'll put it right here in the center. Why not? Okay, and then the hay as well. All right, so that's pretty nice. Back to me, I'm down pretty much my last worker. I, could, I can make some hay for myself. Um, I can't really bid on it. I could bid on this and get this, but, uh, but then I'd lose this guy. I think I'm actually gonna pass. I wanna have more workers next turn. I'm not, well no, I'm not gonna pass. I'll have him come over here to the wheat field and he'll just generate two wheat for me. There we go. And that was my last turn. Jen's got one more guy and she's in kind of the same spot. I think she will go ahead and put it here in the mine and it'll generate her a, an ore over here in the mine. Which, you know, gosh, does she even need ore? She doesn't get any bonus points at the end. What's she gonna do with this ore? Oh, but if she ever moved this ore from this zone to this zone, she'd be halfway towards upgrading her storyteller, which means whenever she uses it, she would be able to get a person and a skill. So I guess the ore might be useful for that. We'll see how that works out. Okay, so anyway, so that was it. We, I, you know, uh, I've passed, Jen passes, we're done. And so we've activated all our stuff, we get a bunch of new things. Jen got this pigsty, I got this shepherd's hut, I got this carpenter, Jen got this store, uh, Jen got this boat, and I got first player. I'm holding on to first player again, and once again, I got two more gold. Mm -mm -mm. All right, and so all of these guys who are used in the bidding go away. Nobody wanted this boat, it's removed from the game. And now, once again, we have to build our villages. Let's see. Now, this guy will generate wood for me. And I have to think about where I'm putting it down. Do I wanna be able to, when it generates wood, do I wanna be able to move that wood someplace else? Now, the reason I'd want to move it, like say I might wanna move it over here to this wheat field to be able to upgrade the wheat field, but I'm not really worried about that because I've already moved an ore over there. So if I ever wanna upgrade the wheat field, I can. So maybe, Remember I was talking about before, I want to set myself up for having like a really big loop. This carpenter, I could maybe put it here, say, and I'm starting to set up for a loop that's four tiles big. Or I could even get bigger. And you know, then I'm setting myself up for a really big loop. Yeah, let's go with that, why not? So I put that there, and now this shepherd's hut, this is more important, when this goes, if this generates more sheep, I want this to be close to my other sheep, so that um, you know, I can get some synergy. 
So this place and this place can put sheep in the same spot. So I'll put that over there like that. Right, okay. Now Jen, she's got to put her tiles down. Now the boat's kind of special. She could put her boat here like this and it kind of extend off of her starting town. Or she could put it, she couldn't put it there because it messes the wall. But say, where else she could put it? She could put it like this, for instance, because that's legal. But then she's really going to kind of box herself in because now she's got this water out here. So she's going to put this in the nice, safe, easy place. Which means she's kind of gobbling up some of her table space. And now she has gotten this ability, which means at the end of this season, she will get two extra hay, which she wants. She's got to put these down. Pigs. Where does she want her pigs to go? She'll put it over here, so... No, no, no. She does not want her pigs near her, because remember, pigs and sheep cannot commingle in the same field. So she'll put her pigs, say, over here. Let's say. And then she's still setting herself up for like a really big loop. And then if, if the pigs are born, they're kind of born in this area, the sheep are born in this area, because again, they can't intermingle. So that's kind of nice. And then she's got to put this. This could go anywhere. See, it has... Let's just go ahead and put it there. Why not? Okay. So, Jen has built her village, I've built mine. You can see, Jen's got a much bigger village than me. But I've got more resources, I've got a lot of sheep. All right. Let's see. Oh, also, these two guys who were, you know, Jen used on her farm, they go back. My five guys that I used on my farm, they all go back. So that's very nice. Um, you know, using them to get new tiles is great, but you lose those guys. Using them on your own village means you get to keep them. So right off the bat, I've already got five guys for next round. Jen's only got two. But okay, we built our village, and now um, the new the the new uh, sellers come in. I'm the first player still. I hold on to it, so I get to decide. Do I want? It's interesting. This is more workers. This is less workers, and in fact, no blues. But there's saw blades. And you'll notice, what do I need? Do I need a saw blade? Oh, I thought I needed a saw blade. No, I don't. Wasn't there something I need a saw blade? I need wood to upgrade there. I need, no, okay, so yeah, there's, no, okay, I'm just gonna take the thing with more because I don't need those saw blades. The interesting thing though is, so I'm basically giving Jen two saw blades. She could use those two saw blades to upgrade her pig sty to generate more pigs. So anyway, so Jen got these. Benefits of me going first. I got some gold. Oh, and, and so Jen's got some more skill tiles. I've got one. And I've got a lot, a lot more workers than her going in to autumn. All right. Anyway, so, uh, oh, oh, oops, I've missed. Jen had a couple more workers. I didn't see those. Okay. So Jen's actually got a few more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I've only got two more workers. Not that big a deal. Um, but I've been generating more goods, uh, you know, more sheep, definitely. And now at the end of the game, basically, the way the livestock works is every field that has at least one sheep in it scores one point. Every field that has a pig in it, which Jen is going to start generating, gets two points. And every field that has a cow in it generates three points. But this weaver, if I have the weaver in my village, every sheep field, instead of generating one point, generates three points. Here's the thing though, this is gonna go for auction and winter comes around, I'm gonna put it out there, I might not get this. Jen might outbid me for this. That's always something I have to have in the back of my mind. I'm building towards these, these bonus point scoring things, but there's no guarantee I'll actually get this because I might be outbid on it. But anyway, so um, we've built our villages, we've gotten our new workers, so it's time for um, autumn. Let's just keep going, what the heck. So, oh wait, oh, but wait, wait, wait. Now, this ship, the key flower, we were looking at the key flower in the spring version and the summer version. There is no autumn version of this, so you'll notice we have to flip it. In autumn, the key flower only brings three people. So it's suddenly not a very good boat. Only three people are coming in and two random skill tiles. Whereas the sea bass, you'll notice, it stays in its up in its best form in spring, summer, and fall. So suddenly now the sea bass, which used to have fewer workers, now has more. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two tiles on it. So that's very interesting. Now getting first player is going to be hugely important for autumn because whoever doesn't get it only gets half as many workers for winter, the final phase. So that's very interesting. But now we have to bring out our winter, our autumn tiles. Here they all are. Um, there's an inn, a pigsty, a ranch, a sheep shelter, a cow shed, and a forge. These are the four farmer tiles. 
And then these are extra ones that were came from the base game. So the Forge, this is an interesting one. It's all, if I get this in my village, it'll be worth three points. But if I upgrade it with three ore, it's worth 10 points. I'm not gonna be able to do that, but this is very interesting to Jen because she could generate three ore and then upgrade this thing and score 10 points. I think she's gonna want that. The inn is an interesting place where you can put a worker here and get another worker, and you can upgrade so you can get three workers. That's very cool if you can get it upgraded in time. And then here's the farm ones. A way to get cows, either on the ranch or the cow shed. Um, this gives you a cow and a, a wheat, or this just gives you cows and then double cows or cow and double wheat. A pig and wheat, and a pig shell or a sheep shelter. Now what this is, this is a special one. If I got this, or let's say if Jen got this, you know currently, if the game ended right now but Jen had gotten this, she scores one point for this sheep because it's in the field. Um, but if she, basically what you can do is, over the course of turns, you can move sheep into this shelter and they can score additional points. So if you're in a situation where you've got more sheep than fields, you can put your excess sheep into this shelter and score extra points with them. So that's kind of interesting. So those are the new tiles that are out. I'm still first player. And so I get to go first, I get to bid first. Do I want to get any of these tiles? Or do I want to just keep working my farm? Or do I want to work Jen's farm? Now that's actually really interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. I think I'm going to. I'm gonna work Jen's farm. I am going to, let's see, what do I have the most of? I have a lot of, oh wow, that's evil. I'm gonna send a blue worker over to Jen's farm, or to her village. Da, 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 da. I, could, I could activate any of, her, any of her tiles. I'm gonna activate her store. And she shakes her fist at me. Oh, that makes her quite upset. Now here's the thing. I'm doing this because I have a lot of blue, right? So that means from now on, only blue workers can be used to activate this tile. Um, and what happens, we, I activate this tile, I've activated the tile, that means I take another blue, I remove him from the game, he goes back in, and I get a green. And now, Jen did this whole thing so that she could get greens. And so what she was playing is she was gonna like, maybe she was gonna put a yellow down here and then a double yellow. And that means she would have been able to take her, her two, two blues into two greens. But now that I've put a blue down here, she'd have to put a blue down to convert this blue into a green. So she can only ever get one green. That was a bold move on my part. And that really kind of scuppered her. And she's really kind of bummed about that. I'm basically, I'm using her own tile against her to get the green. Wow, okay, well now, she, oh, that was my turn. And now she's got a choice. Does she put another blue in? Oh no, actually, oh look at that. She needs to upgrade, she can't put a single. She'd have to put two blues down here to activate, and that means she'd have no blues to convert. So by doing this, I have pretty much denied Jen the ability to use her own tile. And she wanted that, because she needs these greens to score bonus points at the end of the game with the Emporium. Not that I even know that. But the other value of greens is, remember, green is like any other worker. There's nothing special about him except for the fact he's green. So if I'm the only person with a green, and um, you know I put this green over here, Jen can never bid on that because she has no green. So she can never bid me. That's the power of green. They are a unique color, and there's very few of them in the game. So I just got myself a green. That was awesome. Okay, so what is Jen going to do? She can't use her own thing, so that really messes up her plans. That's really going to slow down her ability to get the green she wants for her Emporium. Maybe she needs to double down and focus on something else instead now. I think she does. I think she's now going to kind of ignore this and try to double down and improve her chances on pigs. So, she wants to upgrade this pigsty. Well, first of all, let's just have her, let's just have her get a pig. Right, she's gonna put a red down there, and so she gets a pig. And she could put it anywhere in this zone, in this field, this field, this field, or this field. She'll put it in this field, let's say. All right, so she got a, a little pink pig. All right, so now it's my turn again. Now if I wanted to get pigs, I'd have to go in there with a the red. And it just so happens I've got two reds, so I could go in there, but that's two reds to get one, and I'd be giving those workers to Jen, so that's not great. I think I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna send two blues over. I'm giving Jen a whole bunch of workers. I'm giving her three workers now, but that means I get to convert another blue into a green. Now I've got two greens. That gives me a lot of power. And unbeknownst to me, that I might get a lot of points off this Emporium too. Who knows? So anyway, I, but I've given Jen three workers that she will now have in the final phase in winter. I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore, but those greens, basically I gave up, I gave Jen three blues so that I could get two greens. Interesting, okay. Maybe that was a bit crazy, but what the heck, I, I'm just having some fun with it. Okay, so Jen's turn. Now then, she um, wants to upgrade her pig sty so she can generate more pigs. 
she will put a yellow here. And remember, she can move goods around, but she has no goods she really wants to move around. Uh, she, her, she's fine with her sheep right here, and she's fine with her, her ore right here. And now, the important thing is now she can do an upgrade. She could upgrade this key mine, she could, uh, but she's gonna upgrade this pigsty. So she's gonna use two of these tiles she's been picking up and upgrade her pigsty. Okay. Now, the reason Jen put a worker down here before she upgraded, because now you're thinking, well, hey, why did she, why did she put a worker there? When she put a worker now, she would have gotten two pigs instead of one. The reason she did that is because if she had just, the first thing she did was she had upgraded that pigsty, chances are I would have taken one of my workers and just put it over there and then really kind of limited her because say if I put my green worker over here, she wouldn't be able to activate her tile at all because she has no greens. So what she did is she put a red down first to kind of, you know, take some ownership of it. Now only reds can go there and she has plenty more reds so she can do more red. And she was hoping I didn't have enough reds. Now I could still, I could give two reds over here to get those two pinks, but that's too expensive. I don't want to give up two of my reds to get those pigs. So that's why she did it in that order. And she scored seven points for upgrading her pigsty. Back to me, back to my turn. I've got a lot of workers. Now what do I want up here? I want first player again because I want more gold. Oh, and I want, let's see, oh I know what I want to do. I, let's see here, I want to get these three wood so that I could then use the three wood to upgrade my carpenter into an upgrade carpenter, which will give me seven points and let me generate gold. So that's pretty cool. I want to be able to do that. So that's a couple of turns that's going to take though. So for starters, I think I will take, eh, I'll take a red. And so I'm activating my own carpenter. I'm getting one, two, three. So I get three wood. Okay. Jen's turn. Um, let's see. Jen is going to get some more pigs now. Um, she gets two for her two workers. And remember, she'll keep all these workers and she'll keep all these blues I gave her. So, I mean, if nothing else, I've given her a lot of blues that she can convert in the final year. All right. So anyway, so now Jen's gotten two more pigs. She's going to put one in this field with the other one. Uh, so they'll breed and then she'll put one over here, let's say. Right. Okay. My turn. Right, so I now I'm going to want to upgrade this, so let's go on ahead and put one of my yellows in my own town, and now I can move goods around again. But interestingly, hmm, any goods I want to move? No, I don't think so. See, it's interesting, um, with this farm game, Normally you have a lot of goods. You want to move these goods all around to get to different tiles to upgrade But in the farm game you most of these tiles don't need a lot of goods to move around So in a heavy farm game, you don't use much of this this um, locomotion But I'm so I'm really only using this to upgrade so I'm gonna uh, use the wood I generated to upgrade my carpenter into a super carpenter which generates gold Okay, all right, and now it is Jen's turn and if she had two reds, she would totally place them here to get three gold for herself, because that would be awesome. But here's what she's going to do. Since she knows I put all these blues over here, she figures I probably don't have much blue left. She's going to try and grab first player with a blue, just like that. And now I've got two, oops, over here. I've got two blues. I could raise her. That's interesting. In fact, actually, I don't want to give that up. So I'm going to raise her and I'll still hold on to first player and get that gold. And now she only, she only has one blue left, so she can't raise me, so she lost a shot at that. But at least she made me pay two for it instead of one. Okay, because the other experience, I think I got it super cheap. Let's see, so back to her. What is she going to do now? All right, she's got all these workers. I think she wants, she wants to get at least one more sheep so that sheep will breed with this one. She can't get any more pigs because she needs to be able to put three reds down. Oh, she wants to get another worker. So let's have her go on ahead and put a blue here and activate this, which gives her another worker. And it's a red. Oh. Nope, she'd still need three reds to generate another pick. She only got two. Wait, actually, hold on a second then. Actually, let's say she put a yellow down here to generate the red. Okay, so back to me, back to my turn. Okay, oh wow. Um, let's see, so I've successfully upgraded that. If I could put two reds, I'd get all that gold now. Do I just wanna get some more sheep? Do I want to get a pigsty so I can start breeding some pigs too? Because pigs are worth points at the end of the game. That might be important. Or do I want to start being able... Ah, oh, cows are worth a lot of points. I'm going to... 
I'm gonna do, this is interesting, I'm gonna bid one green on this cow shed. And because it's a green and I know Jen has no greens, I've guaranteed it is impossible for Jen to get this cow shed. So I've totally, I've totally locked it in. All right, back to her, back to her turn. Oh, it's getting tense. See, now Jen definitely wants this forge because um, she'd be able to, if she upgrades this mine, she'd be able to get the ore and then, yeah. So she's gonna bid one red and try to get that forge. And she's hoping I won't be able to raise her. And she's right, because all my reds are gone. I've spent um, all my reds, or most of it. So Jen's gotten that she's gonna get that forge for herself. She's very happy about that. Back to me, back to my turn. Ah, things are getting tense. Let's see, I don't want this sheep to be all alone. I definitely want some more sheep to breed. So I will go on ahead and put a red in this zone, which means I get two more sheep. And I'll put one in this field, so those guys breed. And I'll put one over here, which he's all by himself, he won't breed. All right, but he's in that field. Okay, Jen's turn again. Let's see, somebody's Skyping me like crazy. I don't know what they want. Jen is going to, remember she put a single yellow over here to get another worker? Now she's gonna put two yellows and then you have to increase the amount of workers on a subsequent turn. Two yellows here, which will give her another worker. Very nice. That's Storyteller. Oh, and it's a blue. So she might have more blues to make um, more greens in the final. In fact, uh, if she had one more blue, if she just had one more blue, she could actually get that store. Oh. Wait a minute. Can she do that? She has one more blue. She has to pull this guy. Yes, she can. Wow. That's pretty cool. So anyway, so Jen got another. All right, back to me, back to my turn. Now, I'm gonna use this green over here on my own. I've nailed this cow shed. Jen can't get it for me because she can't get a green. So I'll put this green on here knowing I'll get this green back and I'll get myself a cow. Now the cow, uh, since this isn't my zone in my hone yet, I have to put it in one of my starting. I can put it, let's put it over here in this field. Yeah, and then I'll put the cow shed over here so the cows can breed over in this portion of my zone, of my village. All right, back to Jen. Jen is very happy. This guy who got outbid, oh, wait a minute, oh. Jen's got two blues. She could now outbid me and take first player. Or she could pull this guy off and add these two and get herself her own green worker. But she's gonna take first player. Look at that, she just kicked me right out. Very nice, nice turnaround. This really paid off for her, giving her that extra blue. Okay, me, back to my turn. Now I've got two blues who um, need to go somewhere else and do something else. Maybe I'll get a pigsty. Why not? Yeah, I'm gonna move these guys. I'm gonna bid on a pigsty. All right, now it's Jen's turn again. She's down to one free guy. Where is this gonna go? She could activate, yeah, she's gonna activate her farmyard because she'll get another sheep and so this sheep will breed. So she'll get another sheep and she'll get a random, she got an anvil and she'll get another hay. All right. So, uh, and I don't know it yet, but she's gonna pass now because she's pretty much done. I've still got these two guys. What am I gonna do with them? Well, I'm gonna definitely put one guy here so I can get a sheep, so he can come over here and breed with the other sheep. And I get a hay. Nice. Okay, and now it's Jen's turn and Jen says she passes because she's got no more workers. She's not gonna move any of her workers around. So it's my turn again. I got one more move. Where am I gonna put this yellow? I could get one of these. Now that I know Jen's passed, I could get any of these. I could get the sheep shelter, but I'm pretty happy with my sheep being spread around, particularly because I'm hoping I'll get this weaver. I, and I wanna hold on, I wanna have, I don't wanna bid on something because then I'll lose this guy. I wanna have more guys for next turn. So I think I'll just put him over here and get some more wheat. Okay, there we go. Right, and that was it. And so Jen's already passed, I passed now. So the year is over. Nobody took the sheep shelter, the inn or the ranch. Those are all removed. Oops, where they go? There they go. Let's see, I got the cow shed, which means this, and my green comes back home, and this other green I bid with goes in. It could get randomly drawn now out of the cup, you never know. Alrighty, and let's see, and I also got this, uh, the piggery. Jen got the forge, she's happy about that, and she got first player. So she gets two gold, comes into her home, tile. She gets first player, so she will get first dibs, and you bet she's going to take all those workers. Ah, she's happy about that. Okay, first of all, we got to uh, arrange our fields. Let's see, Jen wants this forge. It needs all this ore next to her mine, so she'll put it, say, oh dear. Oh no. Oh, look at that. Oh dear. This is bad. This road is very limiting. She cannot build this here. So now that means she has to put this off someplace else. 
Oh, wow, look at that. So that means now, she, if she generates the ore, she has to move the ore, um, three ore, so she has to spend six movement to get all this ore over to the forge because she cannot build it here. Wow, that's very bad. That is very unfortunate because of that road. Is there any place else you can put it closer? No, there's not. She's got to put it way the heck over here. Oh my God, let's see. She also gets all these workers back, including those three blues I gave her. I might come to regret that, you never know. Okay, let's see. So anyway, so I guess she'll put that forge over here. Let's see, let's have her put it like this, because then if she puts something here, she will have completed this relatively large loop, which might be worth bonus points at the end of the game. Right, so that was her one tile she got. I got two tiles. A cow shed, I want this cow shed over here, so if I breed some more cows, it'll be right next to my existing cows, and so they could breed. Although, that's the thing, actually it doesn't really matter, because in winter it's too cold and animals won't breed. So my cows actually will never get a chance to breed, but what the heck, I'll put it there anyway, just because it's, um, actually, no, I won't. If I'm gonna breed off this, I want this cow far away from my other cow. So maybe I should just put it over here. Right, and then my piggery, where can I put that? Let's put it over, See, I can't do this because that's illegal because of the roads. Put it there like that. See, that's the interesting thing. You want, I remember, um, because nobody took the boat that happened to come up that would let our, our pets intermingle, or our livestock intermingle. I, um, I want, I don't want my pigs close to my sheep generators. I don't want my cows close. See, actually, yeah, maybe I'll put the pigs over here like this. Because that means if I generate pigs, I've got this field that they can go in and oh no but then they've got this which means it interferes with that cow so let's put the pigs over here right so now if i generate pigs they come in this oh crap see now this gets very very interesting if i put the pigs over here and i want to generate pigs these sheep already occupy this so they would occupy all this space so i couldn't put pigs into this space i could put i couldn't put pigs all the way around here because of the roads i couldn't put a pig here either because there's because i've got all these sheep all these sheep are gonna prevent me from actually being able to grow other animals. Oh dear, this is a problem. Let's see, so if I put the pigs over here like this, then this is separated both from my this cow that's in a field, these sheep, so I've got this place that I could put pigs, um, but this these sheep move all the way over here. Stupid sheep. Anyway, and this cow, see I put it over here, it's field, Right, so then I've got this field that I could put a cow in, but I couldn't put a cow there. If I put the cow like this, then I still only have one. But if I put something here, I'd get another field that I could put cows in. So, right, there we go. Uh, these roads and these fields make it much more tricky, much more intricate in farmers, the expansion to how you expand. Normally, you only worry about the roads, but now you've got to worry about the roads and the fields and how they interact with each other as you're trying to put your animals around. Yikes! Okay, so anyway, so we've done that. We've taken our new fields out. We've got our workers back. Jen is first player. She will choose the boat with all the workers. And so this sucks. I'm going into the last year with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven workers. Ouch. And so this thing flips. And now for winter, for the last turn, so we just finished autumn, right? Yes, we just finished autumn. These boats, they are not, uh, they, we can bid on them now because whoever gets this boat gets the bonus for the longest loop. Whoever gets this boat gets a bonus for whoever has the most transportation. And now the final tiles come out, the winter tiles. But that happens in a special way because basically now Jen's had her winter tiles. I've had my winter tiles all the way from the beginning of the game. And we kept it secret. Now we can in secret decide which of these tiles we're gonna to add to the auction. Because maybe, you know, for instance, Jen, she maybe doesn't want, she originally planned to put out the Emporium because she was gonna get greens, but she knows I have greens now. So if she puts this out, I might do better at this because I've got greens. So, so maybe she doesn't want this anymore. Um, and she knows I'm already ahead of her on cows. So maybe she doesn't want to put this dairy out because I'm now in the lead on cows. Um, but she's definitely in the lead on pigs. She's definitely gonna put this out. And the interesting thing is she knows I'm way in the lead on hay because I've been picking up hay like crazy. She's definitely not gonna put this into the mix and so on. But you know what, my battery's almost dead. I am gonna do 
a, um, and I'm gonna do another video. I'm gonna do an in-game video so you can guys can see this all the way through, but I'm gonna have to stop now so I can plug in and charge my camera for a bit. So, um, there's a button on screen for the end game. We'll play through the winter, and then we'll do final scoring in five, four, three, and there goes Jen, two, one.